So uh, a system of linear equations is um, a group of more than one linear equations, equations that would form a straight line if you were to graph them, um, in which the variables have the same meaning. So they're, they're solved um, simultaneously. And you can solve them by graphing them and see where they intersect. Uh, you can solve them through substitution, elimination, all stuff you've learned before. You can also solve them with matrices. And the first step um, for doing that is to rewrite the system of, of linear equations as an augmented matrix. Um, so an augmented matrix is a combination of columns from, from more than one matrix. So if I have matrix A here um, and matrix B here, the augmented matrix uh, of A and B would be you know A combined with B like that, with that line indicating the, uh, the separation between the two original matrices. Um, so what you would do specifically for linear systems is is rewrite the equations so that um, all the variables are on one side of the equation and then just constants are on the other uh, side and so your your augmented matrix will have a um, the coefficient matrix and then the constants will be their own matrix which I'll I'll show you um, so we could look at a very simple system here. Uh, y equals 7x plus 2 and a at x plus 2y equals 15. Um, okay, so we need to rewrite these equations so that uh, their variables line up with each other. Um, just like if you're doing the elimination method. Um, and then we'll have the, the constants over on the right side. So this, this equation is fine. 8x plus 2y equals 15. So if we, can, if we can rewrite this one so it's something x plus something y equals some constant, then, then we'll be good. So uh, let's work on this one. y equals 7x plus 2. Um, I'm just going to... y equals 7x. I'm just going to rewrite it down here. 7x plus 2. So let's get um, the x and y's over on the same side together so we can subtract 7x. So we've got y, which I'm going to call 1y, minus 7x equals 2. And then, um, you know, this one has the x first and the y second, so let's just flip this one around. So it's negative 7x plus 1y equals 2. Okay, so um, that's that's this equation, or that's this equation, excuse me, and then uh, let's look at the second one. I'll rewrite that, so 8x plus 2y equals 15. So we've got the variables lined up with each other. We've got constants over here on the right side. Okay, so let's let's write the augmented matrix. We'll do um, we'll do the this is called the coefficient matrix over on this side because it's the coefficients of the variables. So uh, let's write the coefficients in the order in which they appear. So just negative seven, one, eight, two like that. And then the constant matrix, so we got 2 and 15. So this would be the augmented matrix, which would represent this system of linear equations. Uh, and then you could go on from there and, and do the elementary row operations or what have you in order to, to solve that system. Honestly, if I were you, though, if, if you're solving a system that's simple like this with just two variables, solve it with substitution or something or graph it. Just, you know. It's kind of overkill to solve that with the matrix, but anyway. Um, let's do this one. This is kind of going to be a pain, um, but that's okay. And actually, let me um, turn on another pen that's going to be easier for me to write with. Okay, because we're going to have to do a lot of writing here. Okay, so I want to, um, just like over here, let's see, can you see that? Let me just do red. Um, we want to get the variables all lined up with, with each other. So we've got x, y, and z. x, y, z, x, y, z. So let's let's rewrite each one so that it's something x plus something y plus something z equals a constant. So let's start with this. Uh, let's call this number one, number two, number three. Um, number one, y equals 2x plus 1z plus 7. Um, so let's get, let's get the y over on the other side, and let's get the 7 
on the other side. So we've got negative 7 equals 2x plus 1, uh, uh, plus negative 1y plus 1z equals uh, negative 7. Oh, sorry. I had the negative 7. Okay. But let's, uh, let's actually, yeah, flip this equation around. So, it's, so uh, we'll have the constants over on the right side like that. Um, all right. So that's number one. Number two, 8z plus 3x equals 11y minus 8. So let's get x, y, and z all over one side. Subtract the 11y. Um, and then we'll put them in the same order. Uh, uh, 3x plus negative 11y plus 8z equals negative 8. All right, so that's uh, that's number two, um, and then sorry, this is getting kind of messy. You get the idea, though. You just rewrite the equation so that the variables are in order, so that you know your matrix is right. Uh, all right, last one: two z plus two x plus six y plus ten equals zero. Uh, so we want to get that constant over on the other side, and then let's, let's just rewrite the order of 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 the var the variables. So two x plus six y plus two z equals negative ten. Okay, so now we can we can um, we've got all three equations written in the same way, so we can represent them. with a matrix. Where are we going to do that? Um, let me pause this and erase some stuff. Actually, I can't even do that. Um, we will do that over here on top of this picture inside the matrix. Um, okay, so over on the right we'll do our our, um, our constants. So negative 7, negative 8, and negative 10, all, all negatives. And then uh, let's do these, the coefficients. So 2, negative 1, 1, 2, negative 1, 1, uh, um, 3, negative 11, and 8, 3, negative 11, 8, and 2, 6, and uh, 2, 2, 6, and 2. So uh, be sure that you know, do it more neatly than I, than I did it. So you keep track of, you know, make sure that you're, uh, you know, not losing track of any one equation. So, you know, these constants should match up with the coefficients, right? This constant has to be part of this equation, right? Okay, so there's the aug augmented matrix that represents this system. And then I could go on to solve that, um, but I'm not going to. And Neither should you. All right, take care.